and good morning people welcome back to Jade Cocoon 2 after some of the most uh, dangerous areas uh, welcome to Firewalking 4 which is also, also dangerous in contrast to Firewalking 2 though it's actually very similar Firewalking 4 has instant death monsters that I would rather try to avoid and has to cows as well but uh yeah now if i walk into was dangerous uh we've been called a thief uh then cleared of it because it was actually the bird men but uh yeah let's uh kill some to cows shall we So how much of a roulette have I wanted to take today? Uh, first, things, things, first things first, let's talk to this person at the very least. Hey there, what's up? Hey, uh, you seen that guy named? Uh, um, uh, I never heard of him. Oh, really? If there is someone deep in this forest, you wouldn't forget, right? Yeah, you're right. He's gonna get it when I find him. Of all things, why did he have to steal my presents? You know, I wonder how much uh, information they've been getting on this Nam, uh, and how much of it is based from the. Uh, Birdmen. Because I feel they're wor working both sides. Anyways, uh, more of you? Okay, that's not too bad. I'd rather deal with you later, but I don't get the chance. Okay, um... I do know where the uh, boss is, so that's a good thing. Luckily it's not in none of these. So let's see if we can pick up some items before I run into anything that actually might kill me. Hello again, Wu. You're in front of me again. Was your father a beast hunter? Huh? No, he was a master carpenter. He was a really strong man. Hmm. You don't say. Do you miss him? Huh? Sort of. I only meant to stay a little while, but I ended up staying so long. But Dad said, don't come back until you're a man. <laughs> Indeed. Then you have to do your best. I'm not sure where the sleepy book comes into play there, but um, okay. The hometown you grew up in and the warm family treasure them. Words to live by. Anyways, uh, let's move on and uh, likely play. I believe it's in this one. Oh no, it's not in this one today. I was expecting the uh, instant death beast to be in there. Oh no, there it is. Uh, let's avoid him. I'm willing to take on the karma and see if I can get it, but um, that's probably the limit. I'm not going to fight it as a uh, random encounter on the be on the thing yeah uh, to the left though up there is where the boss is so that's where you need to go to fight it obviously I'm not yet
So, anything left? Well, we do have a few more ogre vines like this one. Metal mugwort. Uh, I'd rather have a male's elixir, I think, right now. Uh, also, miss this little one. And I can't carry any more items. Okay. Oh, I have one. Um, shell, you can have that. And just use the metal mugwort on beast. Just so I've got two spaces. Blaze book. Not that that really sells for any more than what I just used. Okay, I'll be back for you in just a moment. That is the instant death og. Yeah, it's closed because I don't have the keys for and I'm not going to get it for a while. Time to play roulette. I'm not caring about the water formation here. I'm just going to go for it and kill it as quickly as possible. You might be right. I called this the Devil Chew before. Um, I am wrong. This is actually the Scout Chew. I do believe there is a Devil Chew somewhere around, but um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, uh, where it is, and what it is. Anyways, attacking book. Let's see if I can kill it in one round. Probably not. Almost. Not the best one to kill, but I'll take it. I'd rather have none killed, but uh, there we go. Luckily that was the last thing to do in this forest. Would have been 600 experience, would that be enough to get it to max level? No, not by a long shot. So that's... Actually, I'm okay with that. So, pretty much, this is that's the fire forest done. Uh, I've got most of what I wanted. I don't think I've got the uh, Solia Beast, but uh, I'm sure we'll pick that up at some point, and it's not like I need it right away anyway. And I got away with a lot of uh, stuff there. So let's go over to the lounge. Let's uh, have a look at the jobs before I clean out my inventory, uh, check the room of life, drop off my karma there. And yeah, the Og brothers are here and looking for Nam in the temple this time. Item wanted. Coward books. Uh, if I have one in the bank, I might use that, but uh, yeah, well, only if I've got one in the bank. Anyways, going to uh, let's go and drop off my karma first, explain something about the limit break beast hello how are you doing which I said did say a word when I showed the uh, karma so the skill mill uh, desperado hit extra large damage deals damage to yourself and skill talent for critical hits fairly decent actually uh, there is a better one later which is called kamikaze hit I believe I believe it's an S type of attack so yeah uh, this if you're willing to let your beasts take a little bit of damage for a large attack 
yeah the kamikaze type attacks are very good plus with skill talent extra critical hits is not unwanted the only issue really on it is it comes from a bug so you won't likely be uh, matching up uh, species and exact lines on this thing you only be getting the fire bonus tip hip and what the attack so that's two extra so you'll only be getting three pips out of it for evolution the dongle limit break so confused with large attack uh, large damage and its skill imago hatches from egg as imago or adult so basically when it comes out of an egg it's not in its baby form it is it is in its fully well it is in the highest evolvement that it can get immediately so you unleash its full potential immediately you would think that's not a bad thing and it isn't to be perfectly honest my issue with it is you're going to get that form eventually anyway having it evolve immediately or later doesn't change the stats as far as I'm aware it just does a little bit more damage when it comes out of the egg my main issue with this skill is that can be used for something so much more important like I said a few uh, uh, unleashing its full potential immediately or let's say a uh, just going through my little list of uh, special skills strength up plus three uh, strength up three for extra damage uh, resist sleep or petrify guard for resistance to status ailments skill talent for extra critical hits uh, anti-critical to stop the criticals get, um, most criticals being done to you uh, HP up MP up uh, MP recovery hit point recovery hey, don't, that's just to name a few I don't feel that Imago actually trumps any of those skills at all because, like I said, you will get the involvement in the end anyway. Just wait a little bit longer. Admulia. Sudden death, large percentage to one enemy. This is probably the best of the three Admulia Admulis attacks. Not in, uh, or the four Admulis attacks, because there is a E version. E, D, B and S. The reason I feel this one's the best because it does do uh, it attacks a single enemy, and um, it has the largest percentage to actually work out of all of them. What was this water cuts damage from water attacks? Yeah, that's fair enough, I guess. Uh, I try to avoid using the sudden death attacks mostly because there is no damage from them if you have nothing in front so you can't deal damage to any uh, beasts or, or any beast hunters sorry plus um, well What was, the, uh, what was the other thing I was going to say about it? Can't remember. Anyways, yeah. Comet Strike, Mal Killer. I've said plenty of things about the killer abilities, how bad they actually are. Comet Strike, though, is fairly good, but it does have a higher chance to miss than regular attacks. 100, uh, 100 Karma, so that's not too bad. Anyways, I'm going to sort out my beasts I don't think I'm going to actually be changing my formation at all yeah I can't merge you just yet 
So yeah, I will meet you after I've cleared everything out in the water forest. So water shade. Uh, so way of wind is done, groundwork is done, fire walking is done. Watershade is the last tier 3 forest we have. At least... Yeah, is it... At least on the first run through, yeah. We've got still some more things to go through, but uh... Hello there. You're new. And your sort of alcos. This is the model that has confuse type abilities. The water version has life attack though. Life attack deals damage to MP and HP, but it doesn't steal the uh, amount, it just deals damage to them. So it isn't quite as powerful, in my opinion, as good as Life Steel. That the uh, Gara versions have, but um, it's not too bad. If you, if it's definitely better than the MP uh, Psycho attack abilities, because at least you can kill with these things with the Life Attack. There's also those. These are Gesso Qs. If you're thinking they're the involvement of the Qs and do ma water magic attacks, you'd be absolutely right. They do. Uh, sure, uh, they're more powerful. Uh, other than that, they're pretty much exactly the same. Like all Nars, they have low health, low defense. But their magic tends to be fairly good. Yeah, that's a lot of damage there. And they're down. I do need to be careful because I do want the experience on that uh, wall back on of mine. I do want to merge it at the end of this forest. Probably should have brought some uh, healing items. Anything else interesting around here? Uh, well, there's a princess vine, and there's this little nubbin that actually does nothing. So, there's that. Yeah, the entrance is round here, so why they put that there, I don't know. Okay, there's this. Coming over. This is the evolvement of the Slurp Limic, or whatever it's called. I'm not too worried about the Wallbreck on dying to this, because this has Yagir... Yagir, or Yaga, one of the two. Yeah, Yaga. Sure, 36E is fairly decent, but um, yeah, I'm more than happy to let it hit me for that. It's better than a, almost 100. Slimy, so, so fairly weak uh, defensively. Anything else interesting around here? Lots of um, ochre vines to go into, so hopefully we'll see a few calmer. Because that's mostly what I'm trying to build up at the moment, my karma collection. Ah, more ghetto cues. You don't have enough health to survive. Um, I 
Well, I guess I'm luck hoping to get lucky here. I actually think I'm going to use this HP back book. wasn't really necessary since I had the first turn, but uh, oh well. Anyways, Oak Vines. Mel's Elixir 5. I'm actually just going to use that immediately. On Shell. 150 MP, I believe it was, and since he needed it anyway, yeah, plenty of reason to. You're the Gesso Q. Yo, Sonny! <laughs> Listen close. I finally found it. Wow, you found it! So, did you catch it? <laughs> well, I, uh... As soon as it noticed me, it ran away. Well, that's strange. Running away like that. Sure ain't karma, though. Nah, I bet that Camille will just quake in its boots when it sees me. Don't worry about it. Either way, I'll know when I bring it down. So you've found Cure? Or the incarnation of Camille? Now, where do I set the next trap? Hopefully it's nothing nowhere where we're standing. I certainly wouldn't want to actually be caught by it. Uh, let's go in here. Pretty stone, so more money for me. Uh, do I want to go into that one? Or I actually think one of these is the area for the last. Okay, your life attack. So we'll deal with you in a moment. I'm sort of looking for a health item. You're good, but you're not a health item. Another pretty stone, that doesn't help me in the slightest. Oh, this is the uh, key spool. Are you? Hey, Cure, is it true that you can turn into a dragon? We won't hold it against you. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't hurt you. Dragon inside Cure, but I hate him. Cure not safe. A dragon inside Cure, but not the same? 
Eight? Hey, Nico, do you understand? You want to run away before the beast inside me eats you. You know, something like that. So, yes, she does have a dragon inside of her, but she doesn't exactly like it. So she's not wanting to fight because maybe she that will bring out the beast inside her and she doesn't want that because she doesn't like it. Guess that's a possibility. Ah mugwort, that's exactly what I wanted to see. So a bit of mugwort on my uh, shell. 200 HP, pretty good. And now I can go and deal with these karma. I'm going to start off with the Gesso Q because that's probably the one that's more dangerous. They're all going to go after Shell because that's my weakest beast, I believe. And I believe both of them actually go for side enemies. centre at the very least. Yeah, there's the Gesso queue. So I'm going to get the Valley Luna available. Yeah, 91. The good thing is though, I have the Healing Fountain available for after this. I just wanted to make sure I could survive the first hits. So I guess OQ uh, picked up. Uh, time for the other one, which I actually don't know the name of. I've got a feeling it's called the Fangbone, but um, I might be wrong. Just about to find out, I guess. Hello, Alke. What are you? The Scalcone. Okay, so I'm not completely uh, out of the uh, naming thing. Same sort of, uh, same amount of letters, same sort of formation of them. 40 MP and 38 uh, health. Yeah, life attack is actually a very good way to remove uh, MP. Not as, not quite as good as uh, psycho attacks. But like I said, this one can actually kill your beasts if you need it, and need it to, with the HP damage. So that's two cocoons picked up in the first forest. That's nice. And the only other one is Yaga, which... I believe is later on in the forest anyway. So let's go in and let's uh, get my health back, my mana back. Say goodbye to this first forest and move on. And next time, water shade number two and maybe number three. We'll see what happens. Until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.